Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, we're going to be setting up my planner for the month of November. This was my October planner. I loved how it turned out. It was so cute. I just used the uh, frosted covers from Live Love Posh, the orange disc that were from the Happy Planner with the pumpkin cut out, and then um, scrapbook paper double-sided that I used for the inside of my cover and it was just so cute and I'm kind of sad that it's almost it's almost over so um, the month is almost over rather um, but yeah we're gonna be setting up a planner for November I've pulled a few things I've got my tortoise shell disc these are plastic discs from the happy planner i don't use plastic discs except for these they're so cute so um i've got those pulled out i've pulled out some little post-its and some dividers and then a cover from the happy planner as well it's just a beige kind of a soft pleather you know feel and i think it's going to be a really cute look for the month of november so let's go ahead and get started let me uh i'll move this stuff out of the way this is my i pulled these out uh, so I can show you guys. I don't normally do that, but this is my social media planner that I used this year for uh, it's the Zay Wild planner. And then this is my catch-all planner. It's the Life's a Party planner. And so these are the ones I pull from and put back in through um, as I'm doing this. So these will be off to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and do uh, get the setup. I keep my, my discs on binder rings. You can uh, get these at Amazon, Walmart, wherever office supplies are sold, but they just open up like this. We only need nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'll just keep this put back in my bin where I keep my, my rings, or excuse me, my disc. And then um, I do it like this because I don't want to have to dig into a big old pile of discs to find the right colors. And it's still cute. And um, you can, <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like ignore any dust it sits on the bottom shelf but basically I have this little basket I got from Target and um, I keep my little dot stickers in here I don't really use those very much got those from AliExpress um, but each I'll try not to be too noisy but each color or set rather is on a binder ring and so if I want to find a color you know I don't have to dig through the whole thing for all the different ones I can just pick out and so that's how I keep mine um, I've hung them up before on a little bar and I don't really like that too much because they're hard to get in and out um, and so I kind of like how it looks on the you know on, in the basket so this is how I store my disc for now okay so to get started we just pop these on to our covers uh, sometimes we can do them at, you know two at a time like two like both front and back together I think that's gonna work okay sometimes you have to do one at a time and then you just start building your planner. I'm gonna set these over here just for a second. And then from here, I just start, uh, I start bringing everything over. Um, and so I keep a um, previous month, the current month and the future month. So I keep three months of each planner in my catch-all planner. And so, or Franken planner rather, this is my catch-all. But I do bring over the cover sheets of them. My, um, in my catch-all, I keep I do birthdays in my perpetual calendar, and so I want to bring that over. And then the preview, uh, the first tab. I don't know if you guys can see this. I can't remember how I normally do it. Let me move this over just a little bit, and then I'll pull this one in, kind of like that. Okay. Uh, so September is going to be going into the. Um, planner so that it can be stored uh, but I haven't filled out my currently page for September yet so I'm gonna leave um, well that's okay I'll go ahead and move it and I'll go back and fill it out sometimes I'll leave it sometimes I don't okay so basically you just find where that should go so that's at the end of August obviously and then you move that over and then I go ahead while I'm in here and pull out my future month, which in this case is December. So then this can go back on the shelf until next month. And then after after December, um, that planner will be complete and it'll get, you know, just stored that way. All right, so we put December in. I'm going to go ahead and move over October. So I have an extra month in the 
my catch off right now because you guys if you've seen my video you saw where i did an october or excuse me an extra october divider i'm going to show you a couple things let me go ahead and move october over and then i decorated this page here to match my my halloween divider because I'm gonna put a picture here of our trunk or treat and then kind of write. So what I needed it, I needed to do that for is because this month, or excuse me, this week isn't done yet. And this is Franken plan to the back of it. And so I didn't want, um, let me just keep moving and I'll show you why. Because I inserted this divide or this section into my planner. And I'm gonna show you, this was my um, sticker hunt that I made. I, sh I decorated this with you guys as well. And I told you I would show you the uh, after, um, after, um, after I found all the stickers. And so this was the, 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 the spread I made. And then I went through my stickers and found um, everything. Julie, with plans in the making, hosts a sticker hunt challenge every few months and a lot of times it's like when there's a, a holiday in the month or something like that and so for October she hosted the challenge and it was really fun to go through our stickers and you know find the things on those days and I don't find it on that day I just kind of you know I'll sit down a few times throughout the month and find what I can and just the next time I'll find more things and so it's just fun and I was able to fill mine in and fill in all the stickers and then um, this is my after I'm gonna try to post a photo of this on Instagram but I wanted to show it to you guys those of you that watched me decorate the spread and um, you could see what it looks like afterwards um, and so what I wanted to do and the reason why I'm telling you this is that this was my divider I, I, I made and I'm fitting this into this planner and I want this for my current Currently page and so I'm gonna Franken plan these two pages together and then I'm gonna have this page here which is also Franken planned to this back of this planner spread which normally it would have just been you know this currently page and so anyways just to make a long story short I inserted a whole set a whole nother month into my planner and Franken plan to make it look cohesive so that everything kind of flows and so this is getting moved over and also November I have a couple of extra pages back here that I'll bring as well. Actually, I'm going to do that in two sections because you guys know I also have a extra pages from a, a planner that I bought on clearance so I could Franken plan in neutral pages when I wanted to because this planner has color in it and I don't always want those colors. So I have extra pages for that as well. And then whatever I don't use, I just pull out. All right, um, we also have these dividers I pulled. Um, let me go ahead and put these in as we go, if I can find, let's see. So I think I'll use this divider. We'll use it right here, the beginning of our, cur our, cut our current, what am I trying to say? My catch-all. <laughs> All right, and then, so that's this one, or this whole section, rather. I can't talk today, you guys. Uh, so then I wanna use this one next. So the next section is gonna be my social media, and so I'm gonna bring it over. I've got my tab top dividers that I always use. I don't always use the decorative ones, but for this one, I, for this month, I wanted to bring those in. And then um, September, will be going back into my Zay Wild planner. I don't decorate the currently page in this one very much. I used to, but I don't, I just, it was just for me. I never did a video or anything on it. So I don't usually do that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out December though. And so now we're finished with this one. I'll pop December in. And now we'll bring October and November over. I'm thinking about doing something different um, for 2024 with my social media. Uh, I've been using a dashboard layout for the last um, uh, couple of years, and I'm thinking about going into the monthly layout that, and maybe Frank and planning that in with some dashboard spread, spreads. I don't know. We'll see, but that's what I'm thinking about. All right, so that's December. And then the other section I've got in my planner right now, uh, I mentioned it last month. Go ahead and pull that out. This is just the tab top divider. These are Live Left Posh. 
Um, but the other, what I mentioned last month is that I do a, um, or excuse me, I did a hand lettering and gratitude planner in 2022 and I never finished it. Um, I'll just give you a little sneak peek because I want to do an after the pen video flip through of it. Um, but I just haven't finished it from last year, you guys. And I thought if I moved it over into my Franken planner that I would have it closer to me and I could start writing in some of the spreads, you know, doing my quotes or whatever. <clears throat> and I haven't done it this month, but I'm going to move it over. Hopefully we can get to this before the end of the year or probably early next year. But at some point early next year, I want to do a flip through. And so you guys can see the whole planner. All right. Um, that's a lot. I should have done that in a section. Oh, well. Okay. That's a lot of, I guess it's Frankenplant. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so that's that section. And then the last section I move over is just an oddball section of pages, special pages, whatever. Not a whole lot right now. So it's my reading log, which I haven't read a whole lot this year. That's disappointing. <laughs> and then I just bring extra pages over. I use dot grid paper for sometimes for special layouts like that. So I keep that back here. I keep a little uh, couple shopping lists. This is from the block pad from the Happy Planner. And then, oh, I'm getting close to being full on these discs. What am I? Oh. Okay, there we go. It wasn't quite down on that other section. Um, but anyway, and then I have also some of the, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, uh, some weekly pages or whatever just extra stuff and this I keep stuff back here so I don't have to go to my stash finding things this is just a, where I can pull it from um, but there we have it and that is tight I like a thick planner though you guys oh my last divider I didn't put that in let's put that into the hand lettering section and my post-it notes I pulled just a simple little um, set here sometimes I'll add these in and I just use these to you know mark things down on a spread that's not decorated yet or something like that if I need to make a note of something but here we've got it this is my planner for the month of November using the happy planner cover happy planner disc and happy planner dividers and so yeah happy planner is always linked below for you guys it's an affiliate link just uh, be transparent it, it makes it earns me a very small commission if you use that link and if you do thank you so much but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this setup video um if you do uh go ahead and hit that like button and throw me a comment down below i love reading your comments i love replying to them um, and thank you so much for those of you that do interact with my channel and watch my videos greatly appreciate it thank you guys for hanging out with me today we'll see you next time bye